Hey everybody. So I'm sure many of you are aware, and if you're not aware of this, this is something very troubling that I wanted to share with you and show you how to override this and not be a victim of this. So two days ago, there was an announcement from this RPC provider that they are going to track your IP address. Now, why is this a problem? When you install MetaMask, you are automatically given this Ethereum mainnet, and you are automatically given this RPC URL. So anytime, if you have not changed to another RPC to an, uh, for, for the Ethereum mainnet, you are automatically using Infura. So what does that mean right now? And if so, two days ago, anybody who uses the Infura RPC URL when transacting on Ethereum, whether that be Ethereum, whether that be ERC-20 tokens, that could be USDC, for example, you are at risk of having your IP stored and tracked by Infura. Now, cryptocurrency is supposed to be about privacy. It's supposed to have some sense of anonymity in it, and this is supposed to be DeFi. And I find this to be antithetical to what DeFi stands for. So, there are two ways around this. One, you get a VPN. They can't track your real IP, uh, IP address if you have a VPN and you're, you live in, I don't know, Canada, but your VPN says you live in D D Kazakhstan. With this, however, you can easily just change the RPC to a trustworthy RPC. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to prove to you that it's correct by showing you that you have your coins on Ethereum on this second RPC that's not in Fura. So, in essence, when you download MetaMask, Ethereum mainnet is there. The second you download Ethereum mainnet, I mean, the second you download MetaMask, the Ethereum mainnet is going to show this RPC URL. If you care about your privacy, I highly suggest you do not use this because it will track your IP address, which could be used for regulation or if you live in a, if you live in a state or if you live in a country where cryptocurrency transactions are banned, you even see this with, you know, Uniswap now starting to demand KYC. It may not be the best idea to use this RPC URL. So, how do you change this? So, add network. Add network manually. I'm going to put this article in the description so you guys don't have to keep going back and forth. You just do this. Do this. The chain ID for Ethereum is one. Make sure that's always correct. Currency symbol is ETH. Currently used by mainnet. It's not a big deal. Um, ETH, save, you're done. Now, I know this is correct because Flashbots and I go to Ethereum, it's the same amount of money. So basically, if you use this, you are basically protected from the um, from your IP being tracked. I wanted to make this quick video because I care about privacy. I care about anonymity. I think it's very important. So, you guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I will happily answer any questions if you guys have any. But I just wanted to make this quick three-minute tutorial. So, thank you.